You've got to plug in to be connected. Stay online to be on side. Get the right bandwidth and you can be up to speed. Email the grandkids. FaceTime your boss. And what of our libraries who want to equip us for the journey ahead? Well, don't worry about them. They're right here beside us. In its simplest form, the digital divide applies to the disconnect between people with home internet connections and people without home internet connections. And I'm the Kansas City Public Library's Digital Inclusion Fellow. Here we are going to be facilitating our first learning circle at an off-site community partner. Since we go on the internet and we find a few... Because I need to learn how to work my computer, I bought one. My seven-year-old grandson know how to work it. And I'm 54 and I don't know how to work so this class is going to really teach me a lot. So we're getting to know each other and going to talk about why it's important to have the knowledge to be able to use computers. The digital divide as a phrase has actually fallen a little bit out of favor and concepts like digital inclusion or digital readiness are more commonly applied because many people do have some degree of access to the internet but what they lack is mentorship, is expertise. We're not just providing access to technology, we're also providing point of need tech assistance, which I think is great because I don't know anywhere in the community where you can get that. Make the use of the internet service here because it's two times faster here than it is at home. So let's say you come in and you need to create a recipe. You can get started. We're here to help you in the process. You know, even some of the librarians here help me out with my writing. If I need a job, I can get applications out there so people would know I'm out there and that I'm hireable. Job applications, paying your utility bills, connecting with loved ones that live far away, it requires digital literacy. You really have to meet people where they are and look at lifting them up matter where they start. Sometimes that's with very basic skills related to using the internet, but sometimes people have different needs relative to digital technology. People come in and say, hey, this is what I'm into, this is what I'm looking for. What we do is figure out what technologies are best for their project idea. And then really they take it and run from there. I have an image in my head of what I really want to do, but I might not have the equipment I need. And so I would come here and they'd have a nice camera that I could use, awesome. computer software that I could use, and it could really improve the quality of my work. Okay, so compared to like the camera that I have at home or the one that I used to have at home, this one has HD, so I love that about it. We got support from the Kauffman Foundation, Black & Beach, um, and even Google Fiber to buy laser cutters, uh, 3D printers, get a digital media studio. This is the green screen. It's just it's so cool because it's right at your fingertips, and I can just come here and create. It's all a high-tech world, so you have to be ahead of the group, then behind. Our libraries haven't been left behind, and they're determined we won't be either. Next time, in our final film, we'll look at how they're helping entrepreneurs to soar. <laughs>